Welcome back once again. Once again, here we are. Orange Grand System 196102. Don't care yet. Anyways. Once again, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Colty Yole Airlines. Uh, You're the pilot out of the flight attendant. <laughs> I serve the coke. You tell them to put their seatbelts on. See, the thing is, y'all, if you're the flight attendant, why aren't you doing the passenger briefing? That's right. That's <laughs> right. You got me there. <laughs> Anyways, welcome aboard. Um, uh, we have two entrances, exits on this plane. As you can see, there's these two doors above the wings. Uh, if anything untowards happens and we have to land in an emergency, please exit away from the engine. That's it right there. And uh, if we have deployed caps or just a parachute system, parachute system, avoid the lines that come from the parachute. Don't get tangled up in those. That would be bad. Uh, and during the emergency landing, the doors may become stuck in some way. And if that happens, we have this hammer free right here. Sir, you can bash the windows open and climb right on out. Uh, they'll come out in one piece. Breakaway glass, that's the way it's designed. Breakaway glass, or should I hit the corners and the whole thing will pop out? It's probably that one. You're a very knowledgeable passenger. <laughs> I'll be that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you'll hit the corners and the whole thing will pop out. You can climb out and be safe uh, and exit the same way you would as if you were leaving the, uh, exiting away from the propeller and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, um, uh, if, you, if you see traffic at all, please let me know. Uh, it's, it's the whole airplane's duty and fun to look out for traffic or anything untowards, bad weather, anything like that. Maybe I don't see a gigantic cloud that I'm flying towards. You know, let me know. Just look, ar look around, look for fire, engine, wing, something, whatever. Look for that. Please let me know. Uh, and we will tackle it together as a team. Um, if you start to feel sick at any time, uh, look into the distance. You know, try to, try to focus on a point, take deep breaths. Get some of this fresh air from the AC into your face, uh, and uh, <laughs> and you know do your best to feel good. If you can't feel good, then we'll come down. Speaking of AC, this is how you operate it. Uh, three is max power. Uh, this snowflake is max cold. That's max hot, and uh, we won't turn it on until the alternators are on. But uh, that's how it works. On the ground, we have this research mode. That's how it gets as cold as possible. But when we're flying. We won't touch that. Um, and uh, let's say there something goes go, goes wrong with me, and I become unresponsive in any way. Uh, do your best, number one. Well, first, touch this button right here. It's straight and level. It'll keep the plane flying straight and level. Um, after that, do your best to wake me up, shake me. You know, pour water on my head. You know, do whatever you can. Wake me up. If I don't wake up, then you got this button right here. It's called push to talk. PTT. Hold that down while you're talking and just reach out over the airwaves and there will be someone there to respond to you. Uh, any questions? No questions, Fan phenomenal. Fan that was phenomenal, fan it was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here we go. This is what we're gonna do, we're gonna start the engine. Brakes on, strobe on, uh, full rich, Boop. powerful forward. Batteries are on. Uh, prime it, boost it, take this power back, just a little bit, and we'll start the engine. Clear. Close the doors, please. Uh, uh, I messed uh, up. Uh, I messed uh, up. Uh, Good. We're charging before it blasts us. <laughs> Get too excited and hot. <laughs> Good. Solid. Solid. That'll be a good. habit. That'll be yeah. a habit. Yeah. Uh, fuel down. We'll get some fuel. Uh, doesn't matter. Looks fine. Uh, okay. Put on the. Uh, if you reached your run-up area right now, could you do a run-up right now? Uh, could I do a run-up right now? 
No, we're below 100, uh, below the green oil. Tank. Good work. We couldn't do the engine. Would, it would not be good for the engine. If you good were. work. Solid. Um, flaps up. And listen to Adis. Everything else. No, pressure is going to That come is up eventually. the manifold pressure. Yeah. So when we start the engine, manifold pressure is atmospheric. Okay, so it's below. And then it comes down at idle. And then as you open the throttle valve, allowing more air to rush through it, the pressure actually increases. Okay. Because the velocity is lower, believe it or not. Because huh. the throttle valve allows a lot more volume, a lot more air to, a lot more room for the air to rush through. At idle, the throttle valve is mostly closed. So the cylinders are sucking, 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 and air is making its way through the side of the throttle valve. So it's a lot of velocity, high velocity, low pressure. That's the law of fluids. Got it. That's it, and that's, that's why at idle it's low. It's the lowest. What we Bernoulli's. Uh huh, Bernoulli, yeah. Bertulli's. Um, all right, let's listen to A2s. Alpha one angle to waters, radio bomb flight, service frequencies. All aircraft feedback, hold transaction, hands on the call sign. Advice under contact, you have Kilo. Am I blasting your ears off? Just a touch. <laughs> Just a touch. Two information, Kilo 2349er Zulu, wind 260 at 15, visibility 10. Sea clouds 1,800, temperature 23, 2.17, altimeter 29er, 79er. I left runway 29er, right approaching his land, right runway is 29er. 29er, 79er. Notice the airman runway 29er left past the out of service, multiple cranes in the Sydney Torrance Airport, check out on some more Make information. Sure I read that correctly, because it's 5C notams are in effect for the vicinity of Torrance Airport, contact by service for more information. No practice approaches per SoCal. Torrance air frequency 133.07, use caution for activity on airman's in the airport. Use caution for work and progress to Jason Owens and taxiways. City of Torrance noise event been procedure in effect. Hazardous one information for California Angle to Waters available on flight service frequencies. All aircraft feedback hold transaction and advice contact. Advice under contact, you have Kilo. Torrance Airport Formation, Kilo 2349er Zulu, wind 260 at 15, visibility 10. Sea clouds 1800, temperature 23, 2.17, altimeter 29er, 79er. I left runway 2 man right approaching the runway 2 Double checking, can't hurt. Solid. So we got winds at 260, so obviously 2 9 are right. Uh, and we will just request taxi to fuel. Yeah, we're going to go to fuel. That's right, I was getting, I was definitely going to request taxi for take <laughs> for a runway. Oh, good. Power of habit. Yeah. Power of habit, folks. Uh, I, don't need, I don't need to tell my kilo, just the taxi to fuel. Right, right exactly. Yeah. Torrance ground, Cirrus 9 or 6 6, Tango Tango, East T's uh, looking at taxi to fuel. Cirrus 9 or 6 6, Tango Tango, Torrance ground, we're in 18 and right, taxi to Juliet. Fuel, fuel, ma'am. Uh, sorry, correction, I'm taxiing to uh, fuel, Cirrus 9 or 6 6, Tango Tango. You, you were right. Tango Tango, you said to fuel, I'm sorry, I'm, it's getting hard to meet you. Can you hear her? Uh, yeah, it's, oh, I mean, is it hard to hear me? Cirrus 6, Tango Tango, you want to taxi to fuel? Uh, yeah, sorry, can you hear me better now? Uh, trying to taxi to fuel, yeah. Uh, 966 Tango Tango. 966 Tango Tango, yeah, I hear you much better now. Uh, taxi to fuel via Alpha Echo. Alpha Echo to fuel, 966 Tango Tango. Good! Who says, good? <laughs> it's, it's Mr. Yole. Mr. Yole. Look at those clouds. I know, right? Every day. Every day. What do you think? You ready to fly this plane alone? Oh yeah, man. 100% confident. You could do it. Yeah. If right now I got out, you could do it. Yeah. I know you're confident. I got it. You have what it takes. I have what it takes. I told you, the day you solo, you'll be 100% confident. That's right. And at first you're like, uh, let's see. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. And then when it clicks and you're like, oh yeah, okay, I can land this thing. Yeah, yeah. I could land it. I could land it great. Clear uh, Mambo or ground uh, Mambo five eight. If I eight, see that, I have the ability to see that I'm not going to be able to land it great. Then I'll go around. There you go. And I know how to recognize Marble, eight, that. Five, eight, and I have no worries. Point ground clear to Hayward Airport on the port for fly runway heading. Intercept the LAX one seven zero radio to Limbo. Then radar vectors to LAX Victor twenty three Gorman. Gorm. Victor 137. Gorman is a waypoint. Avenal. Those are the waypoints. Then as followed. Flight maintain 3,000. Expect 
Flight level 2010, one minutes after departure. Flying the air, so Edwards Air Force Base. So, oh, okay. Squawk 7225. It's my favorite plane, the yellow one. There it is. Hayward, uh, the on departure runway heading. Uh, intercept the LIX 170 radial to limbo. Rate of exit to the LIX via war. Victor 20 tree, the go on to Victor 137 to Avenal Banner 12. 3000 initial flight level 20010 minutes after 134.9 or 7225. 858 Tango. Number 8 Tango Delta, just want to verify then I missed it. Um, after Victor 137 is uh, to Alpha Victor Echo, correct? Yep, uh, Victor 137 to Avenal Alpha Victor Echo Banner 12. 858 Tango. Uh, 858 Tango Delta, Rebecca is correct. Just advise you when you're ready to taxi. Ready to taxi over at South Bay Hangars, 858 Tango. Number 8 Tango Delta, runway 29 or right taxi via Charlie, Alpha, Juliet. Verify information, Kilo. Okay, uh, 29 right via Alpha, Charlie, Juliet. We do have Kilo 858 Tango. Alright, good, thank you. Doodly doo. Just another beautiful day in the plane. It is a beautiful day in the plane. Come on now, everybody. Bamboo 8 Tingle Delta, give way to opposite direction, Cessna at Charlie. And uh, we'll call 5 8 Tingle Delta. And 8-5-8 uh, Tingle Delta. Actually, any chance we can get Delta Alpha Juliet? Number 8 Tingle Delta, taxi 2 9 right via Delta Alpha Juliet. 298 via Delta Alpha Juliet 858 Tango, thank you. 298 via Dudu dot This is fascinating. Sling has no one flying. Oh, wow. Why? It's a sun I guess it's a Sunday? I don't know. <laughs> Sunday is the day. That's the best it's day. when their clients are not working. That's right. I don't get that. The Elant. I don't get that. Okay. Solid. Oh. Solid. Uh, Cut. Turn off the boost. Cut the, pet, the mixture. Turn off the... Oh, I had the strobe on the whole time. Well, whatever. That's off. Here we go again. Hot start. Hot start. Uh, okay. So before I do anything, I just do a quick, quick prime. Nothing. We don't need anything. Do you need, do we make sure full rich. Just make sure full it rich. It hasn't been long enough. Okay. And we'll just start the airplane and open up the throttle a little bit. No, not even boost. No, no, oh. You don't want to go too rich and start the airplane. Let's close the door. Did I leave the keys inside? Ay, ay, ay. All good learning. Could just want to put it in my pocket. Just can't grab it. Let's head up the door. Nope. Is it in the door? Noise canceling on? Probably not. You just could tap it once, you have to hold it down to turn it on. Okay. Only when you turn it off, you want to hold it down. Clear. Take it away. That's it. Alternator, good. We're good. AC, good. please. Solid. And let's get this on my leg. Good work. Let's 
Oh yeah, so if you wanna, it's got that little tre that little thread on it, so you just have to twist it, twist it like got that. Got it. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. I don't know. Shall we get away from the fuels first? There we go. Today, Colton, is all about what? Ground reference maneuvers. Ground reference maneuveries. That's it. Alrighty. There's no one flying today, pretty Crazy. much, huh? Uh-huh. Torrance ground, uh, Cirrus 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango is at the fuel, ready to taxi with Kilo. Cirrus 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango, Torrance ground, Runway 2 9 right, taxi via Echo Alpha Juliet. Runway 2 9 right, via Echo Alpha Juliet, 9 or 6, 6 Tango Tango. There you go. Solid. Echo Alpha Juliet, Echo that's Alpha the way we want to go anyway. That is the way we wanna go. Let's see. We wanna go. We wanna go. Let's say we're looking at about 80-ish. There we go. Maybe like 79. Yeah. Fuel done. Viewed clear left. We cleared. And. Showing it on the thing. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll need to get an hour flight with them here. Yeah. And check out that plane. Make sure you can fit. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say, hey, I, I want to purchase an hour to see if I could fit in this thing and yeah. if it'll take off with me before I buy one. <laughs> Can you bleed? Yeah, can you bleed? And I want the and I want the skinniest flight instructor you guys have. All right, can you bleed out some of the fuel? <laughs> we really don't want it to be full of tanks. We can't be full of tanks. <laughs> <laughs> There's one, the orange. Yeah. What's the max? What's the max weight of those things? I think 1,600 pounds. The 150. Ooh. So the the blue one, the orange one, and the yellow one are all yeah, 150s. Yeah. Okay. Or 152s. You can't really tell the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to take both seats out and just put one in the middle. <laughs> just like a big couch. I think the seats are like on the floor and your legs are just straight in front of you. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's kind of different. It's like Japanese style. You're sitting uh -huh. on the Yep. And you're sick, uh, cross-legged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do some yoga. Do some yoga. Yoga, yoga. Only ones here. It's our Go personal figure. personal airport, y'all. Go figure. We don't even need to give space on the run up, man. I mean, we're just being polite. But you know, I guess you never know when someone comes up. You never know. Someone else might show up. We'll go to the practice area. Yep. I'm just looking at the 
Uh, below 4,500, we're, well, I guess, we're, we're gonna, what are you gonna be? We'll be below, we'll, we'll be, be below, ground reference maneuvers. maneuvers. So, uh, let's do that. One, two, three, we're actually gonna go one, two, one. Point nine, five. So at or below 2,000 below at Palos Verdes. 2,285 at or below 2,000. So it'll be 2,285, okay, just making uh -huh. sure. 12195 is below 4500. Right. 8 or 5. 22 8 or 5. <laughs> I got 2 or 2 or 1 or <laughs> 8 or 5. 8 or 5 or 0 or, or, or. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh good to go. We don't need to set flight plan for that. Uh do 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 don't need to put an ATIS for that, but it when we divert, we will get all that information from here and be cool. Solid. Um, so, we'll do this. Verify latched. Secure seat belts. Cast pins removed. Fuel. Pulse tank. Uh, fuel pump on. Uh, flaps as not, make sure. Flaps 50. We're good. And autopilot will check it. Boop beep. Can overpower it. And transponders have VFR. Navigation radios. Torrance tower. Flight practice area. And ground and ATIS for whatever. We don't really need to use any of this just now. Um, let's see. And do 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 do. And before we do that, turn on the power. Check the load. We're stable. Not now. We'll check the load with the power. Oh, it's with the power at 70. Uh -huh. 17. When the alternators are working nice and strong, nice and hard. 1740. Let's take it back a little bit from 18. Seventeen forty. Looks good. Not dropping. Drop to fifty. Drop a 50. Right on the money. Healthy magnetron in, magnetrons. Uh, clean. What do we turn off on the way back down? Pedo down. Um, and checking to everything's still fine. Back to idle. Good to go. Uh, Flat instruments, HSI altimeter. Let's check this. This is a bit off from that. Two hundred seven nine, right here. About there. Let's say it's more like there. And flight controls for incorrect. Look at that. We can't really look at the elevator, but we'll look at that. Pull up that, that. Pull up like this. And that's good. Flappies solid. We're good. Well, sir, I do believe I need to set the trim for takeoff. A bit high on the left. Okay. Good to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the flight. Ladies and gentlemen of the flight. Ladies and gentlemen of the flight. All the ladies in the back, are you listening? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Why do, you, uh, why do you put them in the trunk? There's a back seat. Here. Yeah. We really, no, you got to keep them hidden. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't want anybody to take them, y'all. <laughs> uh, don't uh, steal them. Yeah. Uh, let's do a soft field takeoff over here. We're conducting a soft field takeoff from runway 2 on the right in beautiful Torrance, California. Uh, if at any time during this takeoff, before rotation, we experience any issues, we will get clear of the runway. Contact tower land. We know what we're doing. 
uh, after rotation, if there's any issue at all. Uh, and, ro and rotation for all of us non-pilot friends means when we leave the ground. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Not quite leave the ground, but we'll bring that nose off the ground. Yeah. Okay. We leave the ground, the mains leave the ground. Okay. The mains are the, check this out, the main wheels are the last to leave the ground. The first to touch. And the first to touch. There we go. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Okay. Well, after rotation, if we experience any issues at all, we will continue to fly a normal pattern and land normal. Uh, if there was an, I an issue with the engine, however, after rotation, we will position ourselves for Bass Glide, look for a place to land safely, and do our best to do everything in our power to be safe and clean to everybody involved. Uh, we will not turn around to the airport, and uh, that's about it for that. Uh, we have caps aboard, which is a parachute system. We won't touch it below 600 feet. Maybe between 600 and 2,000 feet, we'll pull caps immediately if any engine issues occur, or any issues really at all that uh, warrant it. Um, and uh, above 2,000 feet, we won't uh, we won't pull it immediately. We'll assess our situation, see what we can do, try to land at an airport, position ourselves to do so. And if we start to dip back below 2,000 and we haven't figured anything out, then we'll pull it, pull, cool. pull the caps. And uh, any threats? We have the threats of uh, the ever-present parallel runways. Uh, we're going to do our best to deviate to the right, since we have a right traffic runway, uh, in order to stay out of the uh, landing and takeoff patterns of the other runway. Good work. And uh, other than that, another threat. Um, doesn't appear to be too bad of a cloud deck, uh, but we will probably try to avoid those clouds over there to the left, which is not a big, big issue anyway, since we're going to be going to the right. Solid. Um, and we'll do a... Let's do a soft field takeoff followed by a short field climb. Okay. Makes sense to avoid the clouds. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to be climbing it. So soft field takeoff and then 78. 78. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to be doing a right 270 departure from this area to the training area. Absolutely fantastic. What altitude are we climbing to? Um, I don't. I mean, let's just say 2, two uh, Let's go 25. 25 sounds fine. 25 sounds fine to me, you Good work. Um, we're good here. Let's check out the map. Now, real quick, before we get going, this okay. flight is all about ground reference maneuvers. Right. What do ground reference maneuvers come down to? Three things. Um, ground speed. Ground speed. Air speed. Ra rate <laughs> of turn. Rate of turn and uh, distance from... Radius, radius of turn. Radius what is turn. radius? It's the distance from you to a point and around a... When a point. small car... When you, your car, your Subaru, yeah. when you do a 360 degree turn, how yeah. much real estate do you eat? How large, much radius? A large amount. What's the correct answer? Uh, the answer is depends. On what? It depends on, on how fast I'm making the turn. Good, yeah. right? If you're making the turn at five miles an hour, will it be bigger or smaller than if you're making it at 30? Uh, it will be smaller. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So how could it be smaller if here you're going fast, here you're going slow? Why is one smaller and one bigger? Uh, because I this is assuming I have my steering wheel turned all the way around, so I have a fixed rate of turn. But if my speed is increasing, then my radius will increase. Radius increases with speed. Right. So in in an airplane, right, a standard rate turn in this plane at 100 miles an hour, and a standard rate turn in a 747 plane at 250 miles an hour. Yeah. Which one will have a larger radius? Uh. The 747. Exactly. Yeah. So here's the equation. You ready? Okay. Ground speed. Ground speed. Plus rate of turn. Plus rate of turn. Equals. Equals radius. Exactly. Yeah. Radius of turn. Ground speed plus rate equals radius. Easy. All ground reference maneuvers come down to this. Your ground speed is changing. Why? Because our position relative to the wind is changing, which right. means that our headwinds and tailwinds are sometimes, or winds are sometimes the headwind, sometimes the tailwind. Right. Which makes our ground speed sometimes faster and slow. Exactly. So that's how our winds change. Right. AKA our ground speed. We said ground speed plus rate equals radius. Yeah. So we said our ground speed changes. How about our rate? 
Well, it could change or it could not. We're in control of that. Right. Why would we change the rate in ground reference maneuvers when the wind or ground speed is changing? To, to keep the radius constant. constant. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So the trick is this. Your ground speed is changing. We wish for the radius to stay the same. What's our only way to make that happen? Uh, Vary our rate of, turn. rate of turn. Yeah. Easy? Yeah. That's what you'll see ground speed coming down to today. Not ground speed. Ground reference maneuvers ground coming reference. down to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. And a lot of that will click as we do it, but that's really the three big stuff. Ground speed, rate of turn, rate of turn. Easy? Yep. yep. Good stuff. Let's do it. All right. Let's get, give, the, give the boys a quick listen. Six hundred Fox Trot, turn left on Charlie. Contact ground on one two zero point nine. Hello, 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 hello. I don't want to blow your ears up, but I'm having trouble hearing them. There you go. All right. Power, good afternoon, Cherokee 5352 Delta, on F29, practice approach with information kilo. We'd like to do a low approach with a right downwind departure, 5352 Delta. Cherokee 5352 Delta, Tornish Tower, runway 29 on right, cleared for the option, then right downwind departure approved. Runway 29, cleared for the option, and 29 right, cleared for the option, and right downwind departure approved, 5352 Delta, thank you. Tornish Tower, Cirrus 9 or 66 six, Tango Tango is holding short of runway 29 or right, requesting right 270 departure. Cirrus 9 or 66 six, Tango Tango, Tornish Tower, right 270 departure approved. Runway 29 or right, clear for takeoff. Runway 29 or right, clear for takeoff. So 9 or 66 six, Tango Tango. Good, so the soft field liftoff followed by a short field climb out. Okay. Good, keep it rolling. Did we do our takeoff low? Uh, no. You keep on sneaking that research on me, you all. You know what? <laughs> it's, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now forward pressure. Good. You saw that step? Yep. yep. And then you stay right over the ground? Yep. Good. Now take it away. That was by far the best soft field you ever, you ever done in yeah. your life. Yeah, I agree. Beautiful. So you do the forward pressure sooner than you think, right? Because you're already off the ground. Right. You step into it. Right. Had a nice, a nice. Uh, yeah. Look, that's a bit too sharp. More right rudder. More right rudder. More right rudder. More right rudder, right mate. Rudder, right Imagine what flight training in Australia is there. More right right up, mate. More right right up, mate. Thanks, mate. I'll buy a beer if you do more right right up. Hey, bloke. Yeah. More right right up, get you a beer. You're making my fanny feel like it's fine. <laughs> <mate. laughs> okay, we could do a 270 departure. Look at that. We're above the clouds. No fact. No fact, Dorino. There we go. Let's level out a bit. Get some speed. Yeah. Now you can lower the nose. We're good. Obstacle is cleared. We'll get above 90. Stop turning that steep. Beautiful work. There it is. We'll keep the turn coming. Away Fly we over go. over the airport. Yes, sir. Fly right over the airport. Above 1,600 feet, we could fly over the airport, so there it is, 1,600. We're good to go. We're going to be 500 feet above TPA when we do this. Right. The Cessna 150 gets up to 16 like that. This is a little slower. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with you on board. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I see your dad barbecuing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I see him, too over there. It'll be a beautiful evening, I'll tell you that much. Oh, man. 
Have you been up there yet? Yeah. Oh, it's nice, huh? It's incredible, the view. Incredible. Increíble. I was there, you know when I was there? Huh. I was there the night he was heading out to meet you, you and your brother to watch a movie. Oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> right, 25 coming up. Give me a heading of 160. Are we still in his airspace? Number 6 Tango Tango, frequency change approved, good day. Nope. Thank you, have a good one. Uh, Number 6 Tango Tango. What heading do we want? One, zero, six, zero, not zero, six. Good. So we said if you lose an engine, what will you do? Um, pitch for best glide. Pitch for best glide, try to restart it. Uh, if I can't, then... Uh, so here's actually a better answer. Pitch for best glide, final place to land, head towards there. Yeah. On the way there, if you have time, try and get your engine back. And then, and if you Makes can't, sense? And then you can't commit to, to commit for uh, my engine. Exactly. Easy? Yep. Good. Solid work. That's right. Guess what just happened? What? You lost your engine. Oh no. So we'll run through a fun little practice. Okay. Pitch for best glide. Let's find a spot to land. The way we pitch for best glide is you just maintain your altitude. You don't want to climb. Right. And then once it comes to you, you'll descend and maintain a descent that will continue maintaining that speed. Right. Anything around us? Beneath uh, us? Do you see anything? I see... Uh, Trump National Golf Course. Okay, that's a fantastic spot, right? <laughs> it's our best. It's our best option <laughs> out of all the stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. The thing about engine outs, you want to fly straight line to the point that you want to land at, and then you want to descend over it. Yeah. So go ahead and fly towards it. Okay. And then we'll descend over it like a traffic pattern. Okay. And start thinking where you want to land in that. Uh, on the on the grass there. Right. Biggest looking for the biggest yep. grass area. Could you see an area that you want to land on? Uh yeah, it's cool. that 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 big one on near the oh. Big one nearest there, so cool. So let's turn and fly towards it. We're flying away from it. Okay. Right? We said we'll fly towards it and descend over it. Right. I'm good. Sure gonna find these clouds. Yep. yep, you're good. Good. Now on the way there, could we try and get our try and get our engine back? Let's see what we could do. Okay, so we would uh, mixture, mixture full fuel ridge. select, fuel pump on. Fuel select, fuel pump on. Yeah, uh, try this. and start the engine. <laughs> Good, maybe alt air. Yeah, change that. And let's fly towards it. You see, we're yeah. not flying towards it. Yeah. We're losing altitude. You'll end up in the water. This yeah. is what we're learning right now. Yeah. If you don't fly towards it, you'll end up in the water. Yeah. We tried and got our engine back, and it didn't work. We're committed to plan B. Right. What would you do? I'm coming in on it. Good. You turn the ignition off, mixture. So right, the whole off, thing comes off, power comes out. And do you want to come this way or do you want to come and land? Where where do you want to land? Where do you want to touch down? So uh, I was thinking of the big one over there. Which one? Where? The biggest one on this okay. left side. Let's see if we could come close to making it. You could go. You could use flaps. Anything as you desire. Yeah. Do flaps. Terrain ahead. Terrain ahead. You don't want to Terrain get too slow. ahead. You got to keep flying the airplane. Pull up. Getting Pull slow wouldn't up. help. Pull up. All right, let's go full power. 500. So that was good for our first one. It kind of gave us an idea right. of what goes into it. Yeah. Would we have made that one? No. Good. But we'll get to a point where we will... Flaps up. We're above 90. You're on. Flaps up. They're up. Good. We will get to a point where we... Figure out. Right. Get it. Why wouldn't we get it? Because we kept flying away when we said we need to fly towards and descend right. right over it. Right. Make sense? Because yeah. you weren't that high over the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. So we ran through an engine out procedure. Easy? Yeah. Good job. Let's turn around and fly towards the breakwater right over here. Okay. That big line over there. Okay. Good. Solid work.
Yeah, I was definitely nervous coming that close to the ground. <laughs> we'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like we said in the classroom, there's plan A and plan B. What's plan A? Plan B, restart engine. Plan that B also is? also fly towards it. Fly towards where you think you might Right, land. you want to try and restart the engine as yeah. you make your way towards your landing spot. Yeah. Plan B is land. Good. Once you commit to plan B, do you ditch plan A? Yep. Good work. Completely plan good. A is all about helping the engine and giving it stuff. Yeah. Plan B is all about taking, taking it things away. away. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yep. Simple? Yep. Good work. Okay, we have to climb. Let's go down to 1,000 feet AGL. Okay. See the breakwater there? Yeah. So let's go ahead and do some, uh, let's start with turns around a point, actually. And the point will be, I'll show you, you see that lighthouse over here? Here, my airplane? Your airplane. You see this first breakwater yeah, yeah, thing? thing? You see that on yeah, the yeah, yeah. edge there? That yeah. Let's use that as our point. So we'll fly towards it and position that point off the left tip of your left wing, the okay. tip of your left wing. Okay. So you can reduce power, and we could start descending to 1,000 feet AGL, which is basically 1,000 feet on our screen. We'll even do this at 800, just to be between 600 and 1,000, to okay. be sure that we're, that we're good. And what I want you to do is just get to get a feel for stuff, just enter into a nice standard turn around it, yeah. maintaining best you can a constant radius. Got it. Easy? Yeah. Good. Reduce power way down. Good. Remember what power setting we descend at? 25. Good work. Absolutely solid. Good. Good stuff. It's good stuff, sir. Phenomenal. Where I come from, we say phenomenale. Phenomenale. And what I'm doing here is I'm turning breadcrumbs on. Okay. So we'll be able to see our exact radius from okay. the point. Got it. And get an idea for what that looks like. And anytime you go to an altitude, let's get professional into the habit of bugging it. Okay. There we are. Good. And 100 knots is good. We're going to 800, okay. 800 and 100 knots. <laughs> but it's more about the power setting and set it and leave it. You don't want to adjust the power. Yeah because you want to let your ground speed change. Yep. So you know what? Set 40% power. Actually, 45 is good. 50 is good. Okay. Here. 50%, we set it and we leave it. There it is. Okay. Good. And now we'll go around it and continue to make cons. There you go. Continue to do your best to maintain a constant radius. Okay. Now see where the wind's coming to. This maneuver is done hand in hand with that. Yeah. Yep. And keep in mind where your ground speed is highest and right. where it's slowest. Right. So right now, are we coming up on the highest or slowest ground speed? Slowest. Good. So your turn should be? Not that deep. Shallower. Yeah. Good. And go to town. We'll hang out here for a few minutes. Get comfortable. I'm yeah. not looking for perfection. I just want yeah. you to get in the, in the, in the swing my, of things. My first, my first one. Uh-huh. Keep it nice and clean. Keep it common. And see what that looks like. You could really see. Yeah. I want to be pointing my little yep. fingers. So right on now it. we're coming up straight crosswind, so just normal rate of turn, yep. and then we're transitioning to our fastest, right? So the, right. now with the wind is coming from behind us, yep. you need to go steeper and steeper on the turn. Seventy five echo X-ray two out. Good. Our ground speed is coming up. In a moment, will be the highest ground speed, and you'll have to go steeper and steeper. In fact, while you're doing this, I will call out our ground speed out loud to give you a mental idea. Okay. One hundred one. One hundred two. 103, 104, 105, 106. So this would be the steepest turn. Could you see that? Yep. Good. Looks like 106 was the fastest. And now we're coming up on a straight crosswind. In fact, there's 107 actually, and now back to 106, and we're coming down again. Now we're turning back into the wind.
definitely went a little ovoid there. Good. As long as we get an idea, I want you to get the feel for it. Yeah. Great job on maintaining your altitude. Good, and now we're the slowest ground speed, 94. Okay. 93, so we went 107 to 93, quite a difference. Right. Keep a constant radius. So you see why we're getting close to it? Yeah. Because we went too steep for right. that slow. Make right. sense? Right, right. Good. Our ground, speed is, our ground speed is slow. We need to really shallow out our turns. Right, right. Just like we talked about on the ground. Ground speed plus rate equals radius. Mm -hmm. So per a given ground speed, per a slower ground speed, maintaining the radius constant, our rate must decrease. Right. So this yeah. one was fastest rate just about right here. Correct. So I kept that one solid. Correct, exactly. All it takes is a few of these turns, you get a solid idea of what it feels like right. and looks like. Right. And you could do this turns or these turns around a point around anything. Yeah. You could pick a rock on the ground. That's true. It just has to be something that's fixed. It can't be a bird that moves. Right here. We're at slow town. Good. And the ground speed's coming down, 92, 91, 90. So shallow, shallow, shallow. See that? Yeah. Good. If you go any steep, you'll turn and fly right towards it. Right. Good. Good understanding. Good. You're getting it. You're getting it. There's 89. Good. A bit too steep. And look at that. Not too bad. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. Let's do a few more circles, this one. How you feeling, guy? Headache or are you good? No, we're good. Oh. Good. Easy peasy. Good. Great job maintaining your altitude. Absolutely solid. Proud of you, Colton. There we go. Proud of you, man. You're killing it. You're killing it. I'll just make a call here because I see a plane in the area. Yep. The practice area traffic. Uh, White Cirrus is uh, 800 feet uh, at the uh, lighthouse doing some turns around a point. Practice area. Traffic, traffic. Look at that, two they're close to us. Do you see them? Traffic, or? traffic. Nope, they're, seem like they're right, right below us. Yeah, it's probably a helicopter. Looks like they blipped off our screen. Yeah. <laughs> Might be aliens? I think it was an alien. Well, that threw off, threw off my pattern. <laughs> Maybe it's picking up a boat? No, it's not a boat. It says they're right there still, like right, yeah. right next to us. I'm not seeing them. Not that they're directly behind us now. It says they're 300 feet below us, too. Huh. Okay, so let's. we're done with that. Now, you see this long thing? Yeah. Let's do some S turns, starting over here. Okay. So, the only time when you could have your wings level is when you're over the thing. Okay. Good. Let me get into it. Uh-huh. So, keep this turn coming. Shallow, because you okay, want to yeah. not Way go too wings level too soon. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You yeah. want to be perpendicular and wings level over it. So, here a bit so Actually, you could go a little steeper. A little steeper. I just want to show you. Okay. And then... Coming Wings up, level. coming up, and then wings level, right over perpendicular, and then you enter right into the other one. Does that make sense? Yep. Good work. Long Beach practice area. White Cirrus is 800 feet over the uh, breakwater doing some mass turns. Long Beach practice area. Good. Long Beach. Good. So right now you see the wind is from our left, so our fastest will be here yeah. so the sh faster we go the steeper we need to bring it you see that yeah, otherwise yeah. you won't make it in yeah, time yeah, does yeah. that make sense to you yeah, yeah. and then over this wings, wings level. level and turn into the other one all right and we even did a touch too soon together there okay saw that yeah and then here we can go this is the so now shallower because shallow. we're turning into the wind yeah we're turning into the wind and you could give yourself more room make it bigger okay yep because you see if you're too close like this it won't end up so just try this. Go to town. Have fun with it. Level. And the, the name, you see how we weren't perpendicular? Oh. Yeah. We were sideways. Yeah. So keep it coming. Just do your best. 
And we'll go all the way to the end there. Okay, just keep it coming. It's really a, a game of just the more you do it, the more it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Good, this is bigger. You gave yourself more room. Yeah. Even more room than this. Okay. Even more room. Fly a little further out and shallow okay. to give yourself a lot of room. I'll do that on the next one. In fact, you know what? This time we'll come back this way. So okay. we'll go up and down this row. Okay. So now we're coming to the right. So, okay. so keep it shallower down. like this. We, we need a bank anytime we're not on the thing. And now come like this. Okay. Good. Yeah, nice and smooth. Yeah. Give yourself more room. There you go. Good. So we'll do like two on each in each direction, then we'll come back. Okay. So this way it will be nice big turns. Good. Perfect. Solid. Good. And over the brake quarter, you want to be perpendicular with it, wings level on it, and then enter into the next one. Okay. So right now you're turning into the wind. You're turning into the wind. Keep it coming. Okay. Keep it coming. Okay. okay. Keep it coming. Good. And then wings Good. level almost. And then here we go. Wings, wings level. And then we go. I even made you do it a touch too soon. That's so right. you're, you're know this better than I do. <laughs> Take it away. And then we go. Coming into the wind, so we're gonna go a bit more. Well, I should have gone a little bit further so I can give myself more room, but. <clears throat> Beautiful. Good. Oh, what do you think of that? A little off. We were perfectly perpendicular with it. No. Good. So we'll do one more in that direction, and then we'll come back the other direction. Just gonna give a little altitude. So we need to be in a constant bank unless we're over the breakwater. Yeah. Constant bank unless we're over the breakwater. Okay. And let's go actually 55% power. Yeah. Or 60% power is good. 60% power is good on these. There you go. And we'll just do a big turn around. As long as we keep the turn constant, we're good. And the only time your wings level is when you're over the breakwater, perpendicular yep. with it. Yep. Good. And if you're almost there and you're not yet at the breakwater, you can shallow your turn as long as you keep a bank coming. You know what? This right here is money. There you go, Boom. wings level, we're over it. And now let's keep it coming, we'll go back that direction. Okay. Good Shallow work. entry. Good work, so the wind, let's see what the wind's it's doing. Coming. I, think it's, I think it's still coming straight If you out, don't have wind indication, you could just look at your ground speed. And say, okay, I'm 97 on this one, and let's see what I have facing that way. But is the relationship between, let's maintain 800, yeah. is the relationship between ground speed, rate of turn, and radius of turn making sense to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, Perfect, yeah. good, solid. Steep, 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 because now it's the fastest the wind's coming from behind you. Steep, 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 steep. Good. Now roll wings level. Wet level, 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 level. And there you go. You saw that? Yep. Good. Straight on. Here. Good. And now we enter. See this 108? Yeah. It was like 90 something there. Right. So the wind is from behind us. Okay. So now you need to go steep, but then on the opposite end, when you face the other direction, shallow it. Because right. right now you're fastest ground speed. Right. Perfect. Good. You get the idea. We'll do more of these. But that's what ground reference maneuvers come down to. Just doing a couple of them. These are fun. Yeah. It's really just gauging what rate of turn I need per a given ground speed. Boom. In order to get my wings level on top of the thing. That's right. Good. Do a few more. I keep on wanting to climb. Steam. Full steam ahead, Captain. Full steam ahead, folks. There's a huge shark right under there. You can see him? It was like a something, a dolphin or a shark or something. Interesting. Uh-huh. Steam. <coughs> Give me the steeper at 116. 
Now yeah. I'll keep them coming in that direction. Yeah. A bit early. Yeah, good. Good but learning. Great we're learning. Close, but we're great learning. Let's do better on the next one. Yes, sir. I'll go 60% power. Ah. Look at that. <laughs> Making spaghetti. It's pretty good. You get the idea of it. Yeah. You get the idea of it. The only point your wings can be level is perpendicular with the line while you're on it for just a moment as you enter into the next one. So that was a tad early. A tad early. Good. Good learning. Now we're into the... Good learning. Into the wind. Good learning. Into the wind. Back into the wind, or out of the wind, is that her tail? Boop. Beautiful, that was good. Wings were level on it for just a moment. Yep. Roll into the next one. That was perfect. Your ground speed was high, so we went steep. Solid work. Show me perpendicular here, and then we'll call that that. Okay. That was perfect, look at that. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Good. We need Good to go work. way steeper. No, not really. Now we're into the wind. Good work. I'm gonna hit that, hit the top of the. Looking good. Looking good. Good. Looking good. Looking good. And then right here, wings level yeah. and enter into the next. Okay. A touch early. Okay. There we go. Anytime I touch the yoke with you, we were a touch early. So okay. you're doing perfect, and anytime I'm doing that, I'm ruining it for you. But it is what it is. Do you, do you get the idea of turns yeah. around a point? Yeah. Do you get the idea of S turns? Yeah. Solid work. Could you do this all day long? Yeah. Here we Good. go. We're going to hit this one perfectly. <laughs> it's a touch ambitious. Touch ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> that was close, though. Good work. Solid. So it looks like 55% power would be the perfect okay. power setting for that. Gotcha. Good work. You ready for this? Yep. Take us to Torrance. Tor Whoa, Torrance? Yeah. <laughs> I've never been there. Take us to Torrance. Got it. Let me at least get up a little bit. And what is it that, that I can circle around in for? Just, to, just for my own knowledge. I don't think I really needed that bad, but... If you just want to buy time, yeah, you enter into a turn, and then you hit turn. the autopilot button straight away for roll and pitch, okay. and then altitude. Okay. So you just hold like the that. roll and altitude. Cool. Make sense? Yeah. That's it. Alrighty. So. But now it says, uh, you always, I want you to start looking at your scoreboard. Because it's not doing it. Good. So there's under speed. You see that? Okay. Got it. We need more power. Okay. Good. Start looking at your scoreboard. Every time you touch these buttons, right. your eyes should go there. Got you. There you go. Okay, now we're clean. Good. Um, okay, so 33, we're here. Um, zero, let's check the ATIS. Point zero seven, use class for activity on our way airport. Use caution for working progress to station all in fact ways. City of Torrance noise have been procedures in effect. Hazardous weather well information for California equals water to available flight service frequencies. All air traffic back hold, trigger restriction, earns not the call sign. Advisors are contacted, you have Lima. Torrance Tower, November. Torrance Air Information, Lima 0052, Zulu Wind 27015, Zulu 10. Altimeter 2978. ILS Renate 2908, approaching Maze 29. Notice the air. Okay. Cool. Good to go. Good to go. 5.35. So, let's, uh. Hey, you too. It's coming in here, so. But uh, let's let's go a little bit higher than TPA, or I guess we can be at TPA. It's fine, and we can maintain. Hey, TPA. you want to climb a little bit? That's kind of what that, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, well, take off autopilot. Let's say go up to 2,000. Uh, 1,500. 
1,500. Is that okay? It's your call. You're calling the shots. Yes, sir. You're becoming the pilot in command here. You're going to look to me less and less. Got it. That's it. All right. You got to be able to fly without me here. That's right. Going to turn around and call around. And we want touch and goes. We'll do a few touch and goes there. Okay. Torrance Tower, uh, Sirius 966 Tango Tango uh, is in the uh, practice area, inbound, uh, touch and goes with uh, Lima. Torrance 966 Tango Tango, Torrance Tower, unable touch and go, it's city of Torrance Noise Bay Ritz, uh, no pattern, no taxi back, so just want the uh, full stop. All right, Roger, we'll do that. All right, Roger, full stop then, uh, 966 Tango Tango. Number 966 Tango Tango, Roger, make sure to run me 2 9 left, clear to land. 2 9 left, clear to land, 966 Tango Tango. Good. Solid work. Too bad. That's right, they said noise abatement uh, For procedures are in effect. Uh, too bad. Too bad. Do you see the airport? I don't. Is the airport straight in front of us? Yeah. Straight yeah. in front of us? Well, no, the mountain? It's, uh, it's off to the right. The airport's the yeah, Good, so let's head oh, in the that airport's direction. Are there. I can see them. Good. The green, the green patch. Solid. So let's join the final approach course. Yes, sir, Bob. Good or good or good to work, good or good or good or work, good, good, good to work, work, work. I am from Texas. <laughs> I wear big boots when I fly because I got to press them rudder pedals. I got to press them hard. I got to fight them winds. Fighting the winds like a bronco in the middle of the middle of the field. <laughs> I call these my rudder boots. I don't know if you've ever seen it. <laughs> I always struggle wearing my cowboy hat along with my air headset. But I figured out a trick. I connected my headset to the sides of my cowboy hat. And ever <laughs> since then, it works perfectly. I call that a Texas hack. I call that a Texas Texas life hack. <laughs> We're about a little while out of the airport over here. Let's get a little more to the right. To the right. So we can come in at a nice runway heading. Here's the exercise. You ready? My plane for a second. Your plane. I'm going to bring you in high intentionally. Okay. And I'm going to cut your power so you will lose an engine. Okay. But you'll for sure be able to make the runway and then some. Okay. So I want to see you bleed off energy with slipping. Okay. Okay. So that's the exercise. You ready? Yep. Okay. I want you to master this airplane. Yes, sir. Mustard the airplane. Mustard the airplane. Mustard the airplane. Use flaps, use slipping, do whatever you need to do in order to make it. All right. Your airplane. My plane. You don't have an engine. All right. Engine's dead. So we will go. You don't have to slip it. Try flaps first. Okay. Don't straight go to slipping. We have tools, right? Yep. Good. Let's get in there and engine's get cut. Don't no engine. Okay. Good. Don't even touch. I was gonna. I wasn't gonna. Oh. It's just a habit to put my hand. All on. good. You can put your hand. Just I'm saying. Don't no power. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. Good. No problem. Look at that. We weren't even above two thousand. We might there, not even need to uh, slip. Over the ground. Thanks. The yeah, it's looking pretty good actually. Yeah. And were we clear to land or just he said straight in two nine eleven? He said clear to land. Okay. Uh, Torrance Tower, just double checking. Uh, we recleared the land, 2 9 left, 966 Tango Tango. 966 Tango Tango, affirmative runway 2 9 left, clear to land. Alright, clear to land, 966 Tango Tango. 2 9 left. Oh, sorry, 2 9 left. 
Solid. Good. <clears throat> We're gonna need some power here. Well, ah, uh, we speed. might need to slip. How do you slip? So right, opposite, like this. I'm not doing enough rudder. There we go. Five hundred. More rudder. More rudder. Okay. Full rudder. Fly the airplane. Okay. Be in charge of it. Does yep. that make sense? Yep. Full Sink rate. rudder. Pull up. Make sense? Pull yep. up. Now let it out Pull nicely. Up. Just Pull like that. Pull up. Okay. Good. Pull Leave up. Leave it all off. Good work. We'll start braking, and let it roll to the end. You're good, you got plenty of runway. Okay. We'll just get on the brakes and we won't wait until we run out of runway. Okay. Good work! Easy pizza pie. Good. You got When you slip, you gotta be more in charge yeah, yeah, of the yeah. airplane. I didn't realize I wasn't pushing it all the way through. Good. Solid work. We're 6 Tango Tango to left at the end, contact ground. Left at the end, contact ground, there's 6 6 Tango Tango. It's like a dog, the plane. You tell it what to do or it takes you for a ride. That's right. Good. Is our tail clear of the line? No. Nope. You want to make sure the whole plane is clear of the line. Gotcha. Good. Gotcha. There we, go. there we are. Back for the vicinity to my ship or contact my service. Ground Cirrus 9 or 6 6 Tango Tango is clear of runway 2 9 or left on Golf. Cirrus 9 or 6 Tango Tango Tornish Ground, taxi to East Seas, via Alpha. Uh, sorry, repeat that uh, direction, please. Uh, 9 or 6 6 Tango Tango. Cirrus 6 Tango Tango, taxi to East Seas, via Alpha. East Seas, via Alpha, 9 or 6 6 Tango Tango. Good! There we go. My airplane. Your airplane. Tell me everything you learned about ground reference maneuvers. My plane. Your plane. I learned today. Um, when you are, I mean, I felt it. I knew it. You know, knew it from the ground school. But when you are turning into the wind, you turn slower. Higher, I mean, less rate of turn. When you're out of the wind, you have more speed. So you need to correct that that drift. Are your feet on the brakes, by chance? No. Cool. Um, and uh, you correct that drift with more rate of turn. Uh, that with that's with S turns and with turns on the port it's basically the exact same thing. It's an S turn is just a, a I mean it's trigonometry even tells us a sine wave is just an unraveled circle. Uh huh. So basically uh, that's what an S turn is. Well, it's just S turns are a bunch of half turns around the point. Yep. That's yep. it. Yep. And so it's basically the same thing. And as long as you do that, you're doing good. Uh, I learned that they're fun. Also. Solid. <laughs> you like them? <laughs> I did like it. If you lock them. It's a, uh, it's a little bit more like you know, act, like active flying, like for fun. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like you get to go. You know, I love to t to steep steep bank turns. I know. So that's your thing. <laughs> you know? You're like, let's let's turn this thing upside down. <laughs> Let me show you how we used to do it in the Air Force. That's it. Back in Nam, Back buddy. Back in Nam. Back in Nam, you know we're always doing it like that. <laughs> you know how we do it. <laughs> awesome. Good. So turn around the points, not much to them. Not much to it, just to do it more. Good. To it's get just better a, at it. Uh huh. It's just a matter of ground speed. What's the equation? Ground speed. Ground speed. Plus rate of turn. Plus rate of turn equals is equal to radius. Radius of turn. The radius. That's it. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. That's right, y'all. Is it indicated airspeed or ground speed? It's uh, ground speed. Good. That matters work. the most. That's it. That's all that matters. How fast we're going over the ground. To, per a given rate, tells us how much ground will eat up. Eating that ground. That's it. If there's zero winds, will your true and ground be the same? Exactly the same. Good. It's exactly the same. Solid. Simple. Simple. Good stuff. Good Simple work. Simple schmazoo. Proud of you. Your plane. My plane. Your plane. All right. And here we are. Let's go to some barbecue. That's right, man. Let's barbecue since 7 a.m. We'll what see. What is he smoking? He's, I think it's tri-tip or something. I don't know. Crazy. He always he likes to do a nice a nice smoking. He seems like the kind who will go all out. Yeah. All out. Sometimes it fa fails terribly. 
<laughs> oh, really? No. Really? <laughs> every once in a while. But no, it's usually pretty. It's usually Welcome pretty, to life. Usually pretty dang good. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everybody, everybody does. Nobody's perfect. Will your brother be there? Oh, uh, yeah. Good. You get to meet my brother. There you go. Should be there anyways. Who uh -huh. knows? Might be in a cave. In a cave? Yeah, he's in a cave. Which cave? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> Which cave? His cave, the cave of his room. Oh no! no I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he's always, he's he's always out and about. In the cave. What they got under there? Is that a Mustang? It looks like one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's a Mustang. It's an old Mustang. A little bit more. Symbol Shmazoo. It's an old Mustang in the hood. You know, I shall from the flat desk out. Speaking of it, just, uh, we're not quite at the gate, folks. So it's just a few feet short. We're waiting on the uh, ground personnel to marshal us in. Until Don Seepel signs not off yet, we do have to remain in your seats uh, for the next few minutes. Once we reach the gate, we'll put your that fast and seatbelt off. Uh, thanks for your patience. Mm -hmm. And uh, welcome to Los Angeles. That's what that sounds like. That's right. Watch the Yaris, 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 Yaris, Yaris. Not quite on the money. It's good. Nose feels straight. Ain't nope. good. Nope. Come on now. The easiest just tap it. Like this. Tap it like that. There you go. Tap it. Jiggle it out. There you are. Good. Oh, there we go. Not so bad. Solid. AC off. Solida. Check the mag. Boop. Beep. We're good. Make sure. That's not 339 nope. in Sierra Papa. Corner's ground. Runway 29 right. Taxi via Charlie Alpha.